Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. So in today's video we will be talking about trim support and how to enable it on a, on a MacBook Pro for a solid state hard drive. So if you ever upgrade your computer's hard drive with a solid state hard drive you have to make sure the solid state drive has native trim support and uh, you have to make sure to enable it using your operating system. I recently did a video on how to replace the regular hard drive on a MacBook Pro with a solid state drive. So if you want to watch that video to do the same for your own MacBook Pro, I will put a link in the description section below. Um, in this video, I will demonstrate how to enable trim on a MacBook Pro. So basically, trim does two things it prevents the progressive performance degradation of write operations so what that means is your hard drive doesn't slow down over time and uh, secondly uh, it prolongs the life of your solid state drive so pretty much you have to enable trim uh, enabling trim is crucial especially if you if you are uh, adding a third party solid state hard drive to your MacBook Pro some MacBook Pros actually uh, can be purchased straight from Apple with a solid state drive pre-installed. Uh, for those laptops, trim is already enabled. You don't have to worry about it. Um, I'll show you how to check to, be, to make sure if trim is enabled or disabled on your MacBook Pro. So let's take a look at that real quick. So this is the MacBook Pro. Just click the Apple symbol. Click about this Mac go to more info and click system report now you want to go to the serial ATA this is the uh, the hard drive and down here it should say trim support yes or it's gonna say no if you just did an upgrade on your uh, MacBook Pro with a third-party solid-state drive it's gonna say no so you have to enable that so the next step is I'm gonna show you how to enable trim okay so what you have to do is to go to this website called www.groths.org slash trim enabler okay so this is the MacBook application that you can download and with a click of a button you can enable or disable trim support so um, you go all the way down and just click download trim enabler and you install it in your Mac and once you install that it's going to show up obviously in your applications and if you go to your applications utilities is where I put it myself this is a trim enabler enabler uh, click that and this is it so all you do is press on or off of course you're gonna have it on so it says here the patch is active and trim is active everything looks super and that is exactly what you need now after you do this for the first time and turn the trim on you exit the app and you go over here to the Apple symbol and make sure you restart your computer sometimes trim does not kick in the moment you enable it you have to restart your computer after you restart your computer go back to about this Mac more info system report and uh, serial ATA and just make sure it's enabled okay so that brings us to the end of this video just remember trim support must be enabled on your MacBook Pro if you upgrade it yourself it's not a choice you have to do it or your solid state drive will die very quickly well thank you for watching this video guys subscribe to my channel for more videos to come and uh, click the like button if, if you enjoy this video and uh, have a good day